This is going to be the tutorial on image resizing for web. Uh, the other day, whenever I wasn't here for class, I had you take a bunch of pictures that you wanted to display as products on our make-believe department store website. So uh, we just got general um, around the house items and we took pictures of them. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is show you how to resize these for web purpose. Um, the reason we don't want to use the pictures right off the DSLR camera is because they are huge in size and I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to use this picture as an example and um, I want you to follow along with this so you can find this picture on Canvas. Go ahead and download it. Um, if you have another picture that is large in file size and you want to resize it uh, for web purpose, uh, you can follow right along. Just uh, use your other image um, in place of this one. So I'm going to look at the folder here and uh, this is actually my root folder directory. So um, this is my root folder here, div website one. And here's my design documents with all my Photoshop documents and a few JPEGs. And here's my images folder that we already started. These were our slice ex exports and then our nav buttons. And now I made a products folder, which this is where we should be saving all the images that we take. Um, so I'm going to open in here and now I'm going to click on here and I'm just going to do a right click and go to properties and you can see here we are uh, over six megabytes with this picture size and that is huge for a JPEG image and uh, there's no way that you want to put this size of an image on your website as a product so I'm going to show you today how to get this down to about uh, 10 kilobytes uh, maybe if you're somewhere between 10 and 30 or even less than 10 uh, somewhere in may the double digit kilobyte um, range you should be perfectly fine with uh, uploading this to a web page and then it displaying um, appropriately and um, very nicely so let's I'm gonna cancel this here um, and I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna actually no I wanna go back to that and I'm gonna open this document in Photoshop so go ahead and open your document in Photoshop at this time and I gotta go to my Dreamweaver folder Div one images products and I'm going to just drag this over to here. Now I have opened the web page. This is the home page, but uh, all, all the sub pages that are going to be holding these images are going to be the same size as our home page. So I just want to take a look at one thing on our home page before we uh, start modifying our image. If I go to file, and or actually not file go to image and go to image size uh, the width is about 788 uh, which that's going to be the si uh, width of our actual website so keep that in mind 788 pixels now I'm going to go over to our picture and I'm going to go do an image image size and we can see here that our image is 5,184 pixels wide. That is huge. And you can see the conversion down to inches here. Uh, we don't want to make this into a banner. So uh, we're going to resize this very um, dramatically. So uh, you can see here we really want to take this down to probably about 150 pixels wide. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. And um, 
let's take a look here. If I draw a box like this, you can see in the new new arrivals, this would be a general picture that would be right about there. And um, let's do a Control Shift C and then a Control N. And you can see the width about of this is about 172, so I would say 150 would be good. So let's do a Control D there. I'm going to go back to here. So the first thing I want to do with this is actually crop it down um, to just our product here. You can see there's a lot of space around here that is unwanted. This is just background material. So I am going to draw a rectangular selection around our products here. That's pretty good right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want to ha have a little bit of space between your uh, objects and your selection. So a little bit of space here, 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 and here. That's good. So, And then I'm just going to go up to Image and go down to Crop. And that's going to get rid of the unwanted part of the image that we don't want. Uh, so I'm going to press do a Control D. And now you can see here, if I get an image, 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 image size, we have now reduced it to about 1500 pixels, which is um, quite significant compared to the 5000 that we were at. Uh, I'm just going to click OK there. Now we have to reduce it uh, a bit more. So what I'm going to do is do a file new. Okay, now we want to change our width to 150, our height to 150, and then we're going to bring the resolution up to 300, but we're going to do a save for web, uh, which will um, dramatically bring the file size down. Uh, but we'll keep the 300 resolution for right now. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And then I'm going to go back to my Rubik's Cube image. And I'm going to click and drag this up to the untitled and then drop it in. And make sure you're on the move tool whenever you do that. So uh, now you can see that this image that we created, or the document that we created, is much smaller than the image we uh, drug in here. So I'm going to click on, or press Control T on the keyboard after I zoom out, and then you can see how large the image is here. So I'm going to click the corner, drag in while holding Shift. And then I'm going to let go of the mouse and then let go of shift. And then I'm just going to click and drag to move this down to the middle. I'm going to press enter to accept that, but I'm going to transform it one more time after I zoom in here. And so I'm going to move it. And you can see if I move it towards the either edge it'll snap so I'm just gonna snap it to the corner here press control T one more time and then drag this in like this and then press enter on the keyboard and then I'm just gonna use my arrow keys to center this up a bit and that's pretty good right there. Now, um, whenever I did this in class, a lot of students were asking me why it's so pixelated. And it's just because we reduced the image um, so much. But if you think about it, we're only going to be seeing this image about this big on the web page. So right now, this looks clear to me. And if I zoom in here, it looks a bit more pixelated. So, um, and you got to understand about web, it's not exact, it, it just, the picture just needs to look good on how it's going to be viewed on the web page because um, it's, 
the file size will then be smaller which will then allow your web page to run much faster um, so don't worry about it if it's a little bit pixelated whenever you're zoomed in but whenever you're about here it should look pretty good for a smaller image so uh, now what we have to do is save this so I am going to go up to file save as actually we're going to not get, don't go to save as do a file save for web and it's going to be a JPEG and I am going to make sure it's on optimized and you can make the quality 100 and then notice down here in the left corner there it says 28k well 28.36k that's kilobytes which before it was at over 6 megabytes which is has reduced this dramatically and 28k is a good size for a web image so I'm going to go ahead and save this so click on save and then I am going to locate my products folder and if you haven't made one yet go ahead and do that now then I'm going to go in here and uh, if you remember from the web page uh, we have a toys section so I'm going to name this toy toy underscore R U B I C combo just because there's another little toy with it here um, so it's gonna be toy um, Rubik combo and we're gonna be putting all of our product images in here and putting that toy in front of it will then uh, categorize well it'll organize your folder um, alphabetically so then all your um, toy page images will be uh, clumped together and then uh, your apparel page and then gardening page and so on and so forth so go ahead and click save here and now if I go back to this page you can see here's our JPEG image and um, I gave you the requirements of making six of these um, so let's go ahead and all six of the image we create we need to resize them like this and if I drag this out here okay you can see the dimensions down here this one we reduced it from 5184 in the width to 150 in the width and the file size is just under 30 kilobytes and this one is 6 megabytes which is a huge difference so I'm gonna go ahead and um, close this out and uh, that's how you resize images for web purposes